Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mokalovar, and thank you for joining me here, playing as a Silver Empire in Road of 56. And yes, according to the title screen, this will be the final episode in this campaign. Um, I'll be honest, as you can probably tell, the past couple episodes have kind of drained my enthusiasm for this campaign. You know, trying to invade Canada was one heck of a hassle. Trying to invade Africa and then South Africa... Oh, that was one heck of a hassle as well. I mean, South Africa's gone now, but... You know, if I want to take out Colombia, I shouldn't have to invade Canada or South Africa. So, really, I kind of want to finish this campaign up. Um, the German Reich eventually won, uh, you know, against the Soviet Union. But um, that's pretty much where we're, where we're at. Um, with this final episode, though, I will take out South America, all of South America, including Venezuela. So we'll go to war with the Allies very soon. Um, as well as the United States. Um, right now, I did just create a, or hire a new general using my political power. That's why you see that I cannot justify on anyone yet. It'll take a couple days, but um, yeah. It's been interesting. It's been very interesting. I have not played Road to 56 at the current time of this recording in a very, very long time. So it's cool to come back to see how the game turns out. And uh, it's definitely turned out... Kind of how I expected. Just kind of crazy. I mean, when's the last time you heard of Argentina or the Silver Empire owning Pakistan and Burma and watching the Germans take out the Soviet Union and Japan still fighting China in 1947? A little crazy. A little crazy. And, of course, Argentina or the Silver Empire taking out Canada. Um, but, yeah, it's just been just been crazy with Road to 56. Cool. we got 75 days-ish for before I take out Venezuela, and then we'll call it a campaign. I do want to see, however, how well I do initially against the Americans. Really the Allies, but, you know, the Americans in general. Um, just, you know, see what goes on. What are we missing? Oh, heavy ship hull ones. Yeah. If, yeah, they're doing what they're doing. Cool. You guys. Ooh, bomber mo modernization. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Mechanized experiments, rethinking the possibilities of motorized infantry. We can push the limits of what vehicles can be constructed today. Very nice. We're going to make some of that stuff. But like I said, this is the final episode. I just want to see how initially, how well we can do. I mean, if I really want to continue this campaign, I could totally beat the Americans. I could beat the Mexicans. I could beat the UK, but I'm just not really interested in doing it anymore. But this will just be the final episode, like I said. Um, what are you doing? What are you convoy escorting? Honestly, all of you guys should be probably doing... Not this, not that. Instead, go ahead and repair. And then we'll continue to convoy raid this area. That would probably, probably be a very good idea. And, yeah, go ahead and do that. Because we're going to get bombed to hell when we're fighting here. Not like it's going to really matter too much. But, you know, it's always fun to try out just a little bit. Oh, wait. We don't want to make those. I have jet fighters, right? Yeah. Forgot about that. How much range do these guys got? Oh, actually. Let's let time go on. It is 1947. There'll be a little bit of lag. You guys have pretty much the same amount of range. All right, we've got some thick holes. That'll be good. They'll definitely actually need those when they go to war. When we go to war with the Allies, spotting chance to see if critical hit goes down by 15% chance. Not bad. Pretty good. I mean, we've got plenty of equipment. Except for modern tanks, since I just made some. Pretty cool. Uh, not really much else is going on. Modern tanks, very cool, very nice. 1947, nothing here. Support equipment, no, we can't do anything there. Artillery, perhaps? That's 1948 stuff, we don't need to do that. Land auction, of course, is, was done. Oops. Anything here? Oh, yeah. Encryption, decryption, good stuff like that. Very, very good stuff like that. Uh, planes, planes. It's actually been a little bit of time since I actually played this. I was busy doing other stuff before I've come back to this, so, you know, whatever. Uh, just, can we do two on each? That's pretty good. Yeah, the cost goes up, but that's alright. That's, that's probably worth it, to be honest with you. Uh, planes. Just, we're gonna need a lot of planes. They do a lot of things. Awesome. And we've got plenty enough manpower. Yeah, just as you can tell, probably from my voice, my enthusiasm for playing in this campaign has kind of died off. And I kind of want to move on to other campaigns as well. So, that'll be good. We should have more than enough planes here. Um, actually, I'm probably going to let Canada get taken over. I, I really don't care about it. I only took them out so I can fully annex Colombia. 
Argentina. Oh, no, good. Good. I'm not guarding that at all. It's going to be taken over. Whatever. But how many divisions does America have? Well, that's a lot of divisions. Quite a few ships. That's what I'm most worried about. Obviously, they have a ton of planes, a good amount of manpower. And Germany, what are you doing? Since we got time to kill until, of course, um, we go to war. Um, they got a lot of manpower. They don't have many ships. Kind of surprising they don't have a lot of ships. They have a ton of divisions. Bulgaria is, I believe, pretty independent. Yeah. Yeah, they're still independent. Japan. I don't know how Japan has not killed off China yet. They still have a ton of manpower. China has, of course, less manpower, perhaps. Way less divisions. Yunnan is here. That's just crazy. And, of course, Japan is trying to kill off Portuguese Republic. No, they're not. No. The Axis is not fighting. Portugal, are they? No, the Portuguese Republic is in the Axis, and they're fighting the Allies. So that's why they took over all that land. Ooh, actually, I'm, I'm really disappointed, though, in this campaign that Turkey did nothing. Really did nothing. I mean, yeah, they're limited because of their focus tree. If they weren't democratic or authoritarian, if they were basically fascist or communist, they could have gone down that path. Um, I would probably disagree here, saying... If it would be okay if they were authoritarian to rebuild the Ottoman Empire. That doesn't make sense why they can't. I'm sure someone, whoever created that focus tree or, you know, added their little version of their vision of Turkey for Road of 56, it doesn't make sense why, if they're not, if, if, if they are authoritarian, why they couldn't make Turkey the Ottomans again. That doesn't make any sense. That could have been so cool to see, you know, reclaim Burgas and Sofia, Annex Romania, Annex Hungary. That would have been really awesome to see. Uh, Silver Empire, I mean, for us. How many more days we got? Uh, less than a month. With the Communist States of America still guaranteeing us for some reason, somehow, some way. And of course we gave docking rights, or we have docking rights from the Caucus Authority. Good old Caucus Authority. Um, we have, of course, these territories. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to invade. I just want Venezuela. I want all that Venezuelan juice. Uh, that's kind of weird. You actually have up to 32 capacity. How? I don't understand how you have up to 32. That makes no sense whatsoever. Carlos. Cool. Yeah, the Americans. Yeah, fighting America. I mean, it's always a grind when you have to take out the Americans. Canada was a grind. South Africa. Even Gabon was a little bit of a grind because I couldn't navally invade. Okay, but America does have widespread mutinies. That's always nice to see. That's always very good. Very, very good. <laughs> Minus 75% less attack. Oh, my goodness. What is Italy up to, actually? These borders aren't great. Honestly, Italy shouldn't have Slovenia. Hmm. Eritrean coastline oil extraction. Germany's doing resistance suppression. I really wish Germany would have invaded the UK. I will join the Axis, though, before we're done. Oh, mechanized experience. experiments. Very good. Nuclear committee. Screw it, we'll do it. Standing on the edge of a world-changing discovery, we cannot let others light the fire that may one day consume the Earth. We must set a committee to coordinate all our our activities related to nuclear research. Cool. Uh, we get about 1.54 political power a day. We can go to war for good old leftist international Venezuela. Um, it doesn't matter. Cool. How strong are they? They don't seem very strong. Oh, pfft. That'll be a pushover. At least I hope so. Um, down here. The tanks will go. Uh, you guys are over there by... Cayenne? What are you called? Suriname. Suriname. I don't know my geography as well as I should, probably. I don't care, though. And I'm probably going to get invited to the Allies after this. And they're attacking me. What is going on here? Um, And the UK has been called in. Yeah, yeah, non efficient pack sounds pretty good right now. What do we have here? Some convoys. They're attacking me. Convoys, I'm sure. Convoys, my boys. Oh, yeah, everyone. Yeah, let's have a non aggression pack. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um, I'm at war with you guys, which doesn't make any sense. How long would that take? Ten days, you might as well. Oh, at least it's positive for all this work. Oh, the UK Navy has been found and spotted. Some American destroyers must get go kaboom. Kuwait. Oh, watch out. We got it by Kuwait now. Watch out! An American destroyer, good. We got 
all of our ships down here. Zambia. Oh, no. Watch out. I'm not guarding South Africa. Better watch out, guys. Better watch out. You know what? Can I join the Axis? Um, if I'm going to be at war with the Allies, I'd rather just, you know, join. Yep. They're currently at war with all sorts of people. I don't care. Cool. Look at, look at all the success. All the success. Now, we're not sinking a lot of things at a time. Very nice. Ah, some more ships. Good. Good. Very bueno. Very good. Very nice. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, enemies? Yeah, I, I, I don't care. Just, just let them in. How's this going along? Are we at war with Honduras yet? No. Divisions? Sure. More infantry. Oh, what are you... Oh, you, you won. Yeah, that's not unexpected at all. Oh, uh-oh. Eh. Okay. Were we at war with them already? Look at this. Look at all this. It's actually nice because compared to Old World Blues, you can't see this. This doesn't exist in Old World Blues. Like, for some reason, I can't see the naval stuff or the naval battles going on, so I can keep track if ships are dying or not. If I keep an eye on them, then it's okay, but if I don't keep an eye on them, it's not very bueno. Go, 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 while the Americans are still scrambling to rally the soldiers down south. Uh, heavy bombers? Doesn't matter, sure, why not? Throw them on there. I, before we're done, though, I will see how many casualties we've taken, how many ships we've killed. We've lost a couple planes here and there. Some of the American Navy is going kaboom, as well as the British Navy as well. Oh, my goodness. British Antillean Communists capitulated. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful thing to see. Oh, as well as Cuba. More guys, more success, right? That's how it usually works, right? Sure. Um, we got a plenty of Coast Guards down here. Go ahead and throw you on all over there. El Salvador, thank you for the playing. We need more Coast Guards. Um, guys, I'm okay. I'm gonna let you do what you need to do. With all these victories, it makes you feel like you're doing really well. And I'm not doing poorly. I'm actually doing pretty darn well here, but... I don't see any carriers sunk, or heavy cruisers, or capital ships. That's what I want. That's the thing that we all need to see to get blown up. Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, convoys are nice. Filipino convoys, Cuban convoys, Guatemala. Beautiful. Very nice. Yeah. 11 convoys, that's pretty good. Five more. I'd like to see the couch trees. Oh, we lost a plane. That's not bueno, but hey, it's one plane. Compared to everything else that we've lost so far, or how many... Uh, men the enemies have lost so far. I'm thinking that's a pretty good thing. Um, air doctrine? I did finish my air doctrine. That's pretty good. SRD? How about we get some air focus? It's actually not that good. You know, get more generals or more air people? Alright, well, that's, that's alright, I guess. Uh, build that up, I guess. We already got all that stuff built up anyways. Um, probably be more beneficial if you went this way, guys. Thank you. I guess time hasn't really gone on that far. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, so, yeah, they get taken out pretty easily. If the AI knows what they're doing, which sometimes they don't. Oh, what's going on over here? Subs. Oh, we killed. That's a lot of enemy dead enemies. Someone was wounded. Oh, unfortunate. Yep, still some convoys and boys like that. Good, good, good. Venezuela will fall pretty darn easily. Um, how are we already... 13-ish minutes into this video. How? You know you enjoy something when you realize the time has gone on for quite a while. Go ahead and throw some more boys in there. That'd be nice. Nice. Drop tanks? Sure. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, so we got a big old naval battle going on. Nice. Sunk of the screens. Modifications, 1948. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Um, reliability or output? Well, reliability doesn't mean too much if you get put out a lot of stuff. Doesn't really mean too much to me. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. How are the tanks doing? How's everyone doing down here? Let's take a check at, look at our losses. 5,000 versus... Jesus Christ, the Allies have lost 22 million people. The U.S. has lost over 8 million 
They lost 400,000 to the communist Irish. The UK has lost over 2 million. Mexico has lost over a million. We've killed off 24,000 of them. Philippines, mostly to Japan. Wow. Uganda. Oh, that's Nigeria. Huh. Very interesting. I haven't, I mean, obviously, I haven't killed that many people off. Ah, there goes Venezuela. Let's see how far we can push this then. Kill off those Mengjiang peoples, like, I guess. Very nice. Very nice. By doing this, hopefully Germany gets access to us a little bit more easily. So they can come in and help us out if anything, maybe. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, planes. Um, fighter fours. Medium bombers. Mar oh, yeah. Get some more maritime patrol bombers. Those will be important. And do that, too. Cool. Just blow the heck out of their ships. Cool, put you on the front line. I'll go that way. You guys will do fine. Mexico's doing... We're doing pretty well against Mexico so far. A lot of divisions are sunk down there. Um. Oh my goodness, look at the Axis. They're trying to come over. No, guys. Go, oh, actually. So America is slowly invading... You know, Silver Empire held Canada, but the Axis is trying to show up to help stop that. Well, guys, you're doing more than I would uh, that I'm doing right now. I don't really care about the Canada or Argentinian or Silver Empire held Canada. It really doesn't mean very much to me. Uh, I do want to see my tanks become more and more successful, though. Let's see how far we can push this. You're going to need some of that, some of that, and then some of that. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be real good. I hope you're guarding some more of this stuff, guys. Oh, they're still getting invaded. Yeah, that's that's just ripe for them, the Axis, to just lose all their divisions. I've lost 8,000. Nigeria. Mexican Soviet Republic. Goodness gracious. Oh, other. Wow. Unknown. How do you, is it unknown for casualties? 2,700 people have died without anyone knowing. They're just MIA, maybe. Missing in action. Well, let's let it going for now. It looks like the number of, well, maybe not the number of naval battles have kind of dwindled in the Caribbean. Oh, cool, cool. Let's see. Let's go. We'll let time go on a little bit more and just kind of watch what happens. Cool, do that. Awesome. More Philippine convoys. More ships. So, how many ships does the U.S. have? I mean, we didn't sink that many of them. They have about 150 ish left. Not bad. Shipping of Contagan uranium received. Nuclear research speed goes up by 15%. With a collaboration with the Belgian government controlling the uranium mines in Katanga, we have received a shipment of this precious mineral. Africa is a giant flipping mess. Interesting. Actually, that's a good question to ask. How many convoys do they have? They're very communist. 69%. Nice. I guess I got a little less than a thousand convoys. I got plenty. But not a plenty of ships. We lost a couple planes. Oh, they're trying to invade us. Oh, they're definitely trying to invade us here. Well, good luck, America. Good luck. Oh, there's even an encirclement up here. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. You wait. They actually. You guys took like half of New England. Huh. Not bad. Improved rocket engines. Very, very good, I guess. Um, not really think I need you too much. Get some more artillery. I mean, maybe you guys can do well. I'm not going to stop you guys if there's like relatively few divisions on the front line. Nuclear committee. Very cool. We took Mexico City. That's. Surprisingly very good. Proving grounds. If we want to create the weapons of tomorrow, we will need to have somewhere to test the prototypes. And we get a bonus of some sort of art, uh, artillery, rocketry, and armor. And we get a whole military factory. Nice. Just keep sinking their ships. How many ships have we sunk? Well, we lost five. We sunk within the last month 553. Now, most of those are convoys, of course, but some guy. Pistarini was wounded. 
Great. Keep wounding them. Keep making these behemoths that were completely out of steel for and will never make. And just in case this happens again, make more convoys. Because why the heck not? Yeah, holy cow. With calling the Axis, Canada hasn't gone to... They're, they've invaded North Dakota and Minnesota. And Washington. You know what? By the end of this video, we might will have taken out the United States. That would be very cool. Um, you know what? I don't want to do this. But I might just do this as well. Now, I want you to be on low risk. I don't want to lose the ships. The ships are important, man. The ships are there to help us do whatever we need to do. Um, about 800 guys here. Put some naval bombers here. Two jet tactical bombers. I'm running out of naval bomber, it looks like. Oh, that's the case. Do that, that, and that. Awesome. Yeah, with the axes here. This ain't going too bad, actually. Thank you, Germany. I mean, you got a lot of stuff here. You know, a lot of divisions, as well as Italy's probably got a couple, too. I, I, I love the green, guys. I love it. You know what? I might just help you out. Because you need some more fighters. Now, the fighter range on these guys, they aren't great. But, frankly, they're not bad. They're actually pretty good. What's the range on these bad boys? 1,700 kilometers. Not bad. You cover all of New England, which is great. Pretty good, guys. Um, that's This will help lessen the amount of damage is being done to them, which is good. Throw on 400 more of these guys. Because we're going to need them up there. Surprised we have no planes over here, like, helping out. Current active fighters, over 4,500, over 4,600-ish. I guess get more in the action here, like... Well, at least we're doing something now. Ah, pfft, Mexico's already dead. Jesus. This is probably, so far, the easiest time I have ever taken out Mexico. Like... Usually Mexico is a real pain in the butt for me to take out, including the United States, but if this is if it's going to be like this, then this video of the invasion of America, in my mind, be very, very successful. And I believe the U.S. also got involved in the war earlier than usual, and they're still not doing that great. Oh yeah, we're probably taking a lot of hits here. Be, just, just be extremely careful, guys. You need more dockyards. And I'm happy to oblige you with the dockyards that we don't really need. Holy cow. How many? How much has Mexico lost? Um, well, they're back up top, of course. Yeah, duh. The um, United States, you've lost a lot of guys. We've killed off a quarter million of the Americans. The UK? Mm, not too much. Oh, wait, Mexico's already capitulated. What am I looking at? Oh, Ching China. Huh. Nigeria's getting there. Oh, there's Mexico. I, I was looking for not a Mexican Soviet Republic. I was just looking for Mexico. Oh, we already took part of Texas. What's going on? Why is this so easy? Of course, I have the Axis up there in the north. And they already took out the Soviets, so... I guess that's to be expected. Japan? When are you going to finish off China? We're going to finish off America before Japan finishes off China. That's a wee bit ridiculous, my friends. Just a wee bit. The entire northern border has been invaded. Including Michigan. Jesus. And how do we not have air superiority? Well, I mean, I understand why we don't have it, but... Why is it not any better yet? 400 more fighters, perhaps? Cool, I'll just throw you right there. Thank you. Go to New York. New Yak. That should help us a little bit. Yeah, just a, just a smidgen. Yeah. Our air power, 27, 28, 2900. The communist states have air power of 4,000. Nice. 
That's a ton of air power. Ooh, more ships. Come on, I want I want to see the American Navy. Where is that massive task force that the AI always creates? Ooh, and let's double check first. Specific decolonization. I mean, it does help a ton when America has widespread mutinies. Look at their uh, stability. 30%. How did you get 30% stability, America? That makes no sense. Department of Defense makes sense, but that minus 75% attack. Oh. I mean, they got a decent amount of manpower, a decent amount of divisions, but <sighs> severe riots. Jesus. The people are on brink of full-fledged rebellion thanks to our previous failed efforts. <laughs> How? How did this happen? New Deal. Jesus. Guys, guys, this is the most disappointing America I've ever seen. Even in Kaiserreich, they're more <laughs> united in trying to kill off an enemy. Depending on which faction you play, I guess. But it's nice seeing the destruction of the United Kingdom's Navy. At least by a little bit. Just by a wee bit. Oh, it's definitely fewer ships. That's good. Ah, uh, even more fewer ships. Keep making stuff we'll never make. The deficit of steel has definitely gone down. How about more of this? Kuwait. Ah, oh, the mighty Kuwait people have given up the good fight. Just throw on some heavy bombers. Actually, do I? Have... I'm not even making nukes. Um, you know what? Let's get the BCRA. The Central Bank of the Argentine Republic is a main state bank. Establishing such an institution will help develop the economy of the nation. Ah, oh, beautiful. Eight more British destroyers are bye-bye. This is just... Just awesome. Just awesome. Take just a little bit more time. How close is the United States to capitulating? Oh, they're actually pretty far. Holy cow, 68%? Dang, did you take out Chicago already? They haven't taken Chicago. They haven't... I mean, they haven't taken New York City either. They haven't taken Washington. Yeah, we took, like, Texas. The Probably two-thirds of Texas. Yeah, we got San Diego, LA, but we don't, we don't have Chicago. We don't have, like I said, Washington or any of the major sit, southern city states or, well, the Midwest doesn't have a lot of major cities except for Chicago, probably. And maybe Michigan a little bit, you know, Detroit. Yeah, we do have Detroit. We do have most of Wisconsin underneath us now. So, I mean, it's just kind of spectacular to see America fail so hard in this mod. That's insane. Oh, look at all that political power. Holy goodness. Um, sure, I guess. I'll go there, I guess. Why not? Region-wide? Sure. Oh, I can't do press censorship. We'll, we'll do that in a little bit. Throw on the divisions? I don't care anymore. Because the western states are falling very nicely to us. Ah, oh, some German tanks. The Hemming Goring Division is here. Goring, Goring. Oh, watch out. The Nigerian menace is now gone. Wow, oh, we lost 30 planes there. That's not good. Um, Escort efficiency interception. Well, I don't... Uh, this is much better. Later defense zones just because I don't use strategic bombers to actually bomb anything. Yeah, I... I'm still researching nuclear stuff. 41 days away. Please kill off the UK. That'd be so much more fun. Chicago, soon to fall. Like, I guess we've taken enough of Michigan to get to Indiana and Ohio. All of New York is under us. Parts of Pennsylvania, under us. Parts of Maryland are under us. Oh. Uh oh, what's going on? And they, they're gone. They, how did they capitulate so fast? Germany, why do you own Alabama? What? Of all the states, why do you own Alabama? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's hilarious. But, you know, I don't want to continue on with this campaign, like I said earlier. I could take out the United Kingdom, and we could establish global axis power, but we're all pretty much already there. We have North America under us. We have all of Central America, South America, a good chunk of Africa, almost all of Europe, a good chunk of Asia. I mean, it's pretty much over at this point. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this campaign. I know I enjoyed it, especially in the initial stages. 
but I still enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, if you if you enjoyed it, hey, consider maybe leaving a like, subscribing if you're new, checking out my Discord link in the description below. And like I said, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.